How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to do another unboxing and this time it's something that I got for myself and this is going to be the Exalted Sight Necrons starter set for Kill Team. This is a very cool set. I already got a couple games under my belt with Necrons and I thought they were pretty cool. They're a little bit expensive. Their playstyle is pretty nice and if you're like me I didn't know that these kind of boxes have special kind of stratagems inside. So we're gonna take a look at that. And I was planning to do a painting tutorial on them too because they're easy and uh, I wanted to show people how to do it if you want to learn how to do it. it's uh, This color scheme is pretty cool and I like it and I wanted to do a video about it so let's get to it. So this is the box. This is the Exalted Side Necron starter set for Kill Team and this one has been one of the most exciting sets that I've been uh, uh, looking forward to get on the mail because uh, I also have a small army of Necrons that I had uh, from way back and I took some of them and repainted them to this scheme. They look pretty nice. They are very cool compared to other uh, Necron schemes that I've tried in the past that I always failed to find one that I liked. This color scheme is pretty cool and I wanted to do a tutorial but I don't have any blank uh, Necron Immortals to paint or any kind of Necrons because I painted all of them because they're easy to paint uh, But uh, here I've got this set with new models so that I can do a tutorial on them and this one comes with uh, This sort of terrain which is which I'm very excited about. I'm very curious about the size of this set of uh, Trenches or I don't know what they are. There's these little walls uh, Compared to the size that you look at the models here. They look pretty large so I'm a little bit excited about that and this set contains uh, the booklet. It comes with six Necron tactical cards and, and it has seven exclusive uh, tactic cards uh, they, that, that come here and that's what I'm most excited about because this is the first time. Uh, this day actually a friend of mine told me that these cards, these tactic cards were, a lot, were different from the ones that you get in the main rulebook. I didn't know that. I don't know why I didn't know that. Uh, that's uh, one of the main reasons that you want to buy these uh, sets. Also, it has uh, terrain rules and it has the five immortals to, and uh, you can assemble them however you want. You can do all Tesla Carvines. You can do all death marks. You can do whatever you want. It also has the data cards for this specific kill team that by itself it's almost 100 points. I think you can add another immortal or another death mark and you are um, right on top of those uh, um, very close to those 100 points it also comes with two scenario cards for playing missions two mission cards and that's it uh, let's see what's inside of this box because uh, i'm really curious about that terrain so it's open and this is the inside of the box so this is the inside of the box and it comes uh, first you are greeted by the terrain and it's huge. I'm seeing it and uh, I like it a lot. I thought it would be smaller, but this is a huge piece of terrain and it appears to be two identical spruce, which is great. They by themselves, they take a large space on the table and uh, I'm very excited about that. Also, we got this packet and I'm going to just straight away open it. So inside we have the stratagem card for the terrain. Uh, These are additional rules that you can use with this terrain. So that's pretty good. And we have the tactics cards for the Necrons. It has the original six, I think they are, and it has seven more. These are new and uh, the, one that, the ones that we have are all these, I think. Mind Shackle Scarabs. I'm paraphrasing, but this is, uh, uh, you can revive one of your models on a four plus that has been slain on the previous turn. Uh, you, when it's slain, you, uh, you spend the two combined points and he's uh, going to try to resurrect next turn uh, in, in a four plus, which is pretty good because I think Necrons didn't have enough uh, tactics to, to reanimate as they should. Uh, the the ability they have to reanimate only procs on uh, six plus uh, the, it effect effectively makes uh, the to kill them a little bit harder 
but it's not it's not that great. I would like to see them resurrect a little bit more often. But yeah, those are the tactics. And we also get the data cards for this team. And these are the data cards for uh, the um, the members of the Exalted site. It has their war gear and their names and stuff. Uh, even though uh, these uh, there's not a lot of variety on weapons for them. They have very strong weapons. The Gauss Blasters have uh, very good AP and strength. Uh, but you basically have to not miss because you have fewer shots because the uh, Necrons are very few in number because they're so expensive. Even if you bring only warriors, they're still like 12 points a piece. Uh, so they're very expensive. Uh, but they have very good armor and they have very strong weapons. So you have to use them wisely and not miss a shot. For that, you can use comp specialists or use your command points and try to uh, uh, re-roll, do re-rolls and uh, pretty much just uh, help with the comp specialist to give them plus one to hit and stuff like that so that you don't miss. Then we have two scenario cards for uh, playing different missions. It has a terrain set up with the terrain that came in the set, even though it has some pieces that we don't get though. Uh, it assumes that you have uh, a little bit more terrain than we do in this set. Uh, but uh, I think you could proxy it with something else if you want and make a different scenario but still use the, diff the same uh, deployments and stuff and the same rules for the game if you want. So that's it. We also get the Exalted Side Necron Skill Team booklet and it's pretty much the same as the other ones. It's pretty much fluff, 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 fluff. And here you can see a gallery also of the Exalted Side. Pretty nice artwork and a gallery of the skill team so that you can see it uh, a little bit closer and uh, it's a little bit difficult with Necrons that are pretty similar to differentiate one from another so you might want to paint some parts on different colors just to make them different changes change the poses a little bit more drastically so that you can see any different uh, like for my snipers, uh, they're both pretty similar here. They're both facing just another way and then they have a different name. But how would you know? Uh, you would have to explain that this one's looking to this side and that was looking straight forward. Uh, what I do is just pick a place like uh, like here. I painted that red too and I, for this one you could maybe paint the arms. And then it's a lot more clear which one is which. Uh, but yeah, with Necrons, it's a little bit more difficult to differentiate them since all they are all made from the same parts and they have no, pretty much no variety. But this is a pretty cool uh, kill team. I really, really like liked playing them those couple times that I played them. Uh, I really, really like them. So um, if you're into Necrons, uh, this is a pretty cool, cool kill team. Maybe it's not the most broken, but it's fun. Next we have the objectives and these are pretty cool. I like that this contrasts a little bit more than uh, other um, than other markers, I think, in my opinion. Uh, they are themed after the Necrons with the greens and dark greens. And it also has the, the icons with their uh, artwork. But they're pretty much the same uh, that we got from all of the other sets, which is no surprise. We also get the instructions for assembly and these are pretty standard. So this, uh, we have the rules also for 40k if you want to know those. Uh, the rules for these are going to be found, uh, for Kill Team, are going to be found in the Kill Team rulebook. And we have some instructions to assemble the terrain and it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. Yeah, those parts go on those blank spaces, so it's uh, going to have a lot of detail. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So inside the box, we also got the miniatures. We have, this time, we have 32s, because uh, Necrons are toughness 4, and they're more a, a little bit more like Space Marines. So they got bigger bases, so that's great. I also had to rebase some of my Necrons that I wanted to use for Kill Team. Uh, my old Necrons, I had to rebase them. And it was a little hard to uh, break them from their bases, uh, but I managed to do it. And we have uh, two Spruce of uh, Necron Immortals with all of their options. So we're going to take a closer look at all of the terrain Spruce and Miniature Spruce. So here we are. Um, 
I'm a little bit impressed with this piece of terrain. I thought it was going to be very small, uh, but it turns out it's huge. It's a big piece of terrain and we got two of them. And if I bring a model, uh, just any model, and put it on the terrain, uh, this is, you'll see that it's not very high. Uh, it doesn't cover that much. But that much right there is uh, enough to give it uh, almost always uh, cover. It's not going to conceal anything uh, unless you bring some grots or something very, very small. And uh, seeing it from closer, you can see, uh, as you expect, this is going to have a lot of detail. And this has some skulls and pieces uh, from dead, dead soldiers here on the front, as you can see. Uh, you see some mistakes like in here you, you see this elongated skull. I mean, it's not necessarily a mistake, but it looks a little bit too long to me and uh, You get those artifacts when you see printed terrain like this, but it has a tons tons of skulls at pieces here of dead soldiers and that's pretty cool and we're going to have uh, these pieces here that go on the end and this piece is here that go in these blank spaces. Uh, they are uh, symbols of the Imperium. We don't have to look at the other one because they're both the same exact one. Uh, I don't think you can, uh, there's much variety to assembling them, although you could put them together, one and the other like that, and make a longer piece. You could do that, or I would suggest you to magnetize them so, or they don't even have to be magnetized I think I think you could just put the piece on there without moving it and it'll be fine but if you magnetize it this one to that uh, you could uh, make them more, more secure and uh, you'll have that way you have two pieces or one long piece if you want it so that's pretty cool and that's it that's it for the terrain I'm very pleased with this piece of terrain. I thought it was too expensive for what it was, but it's big and it's going to look cool. So I'm pretty happy with this. Next we have two sprues and these are going to be for the Necrons. And uh, this is very, very straightforward. The guns almost always come in two pieces. We have the main gun here and we have a front piece uh, here, right there. This one goes on the other side of that and uh, these are green and uh, we also have these legs which are pretty much all the same just slightly posed different differently these are the back portions for the death marks and you get you should supposed to have five of them there's one here and there's four more here uh, this is just one torso piece and here you have the faces these are the faces for all of the necron death marks and immortals Personally, I like the Immortals because they have the extra strength and the AP and they are a little bit more um, strong. They're a little bit more strong, uh, their weapons against uh, things with, ar with armor. Both Deathmarks and the Immortals with the Tesla Carvines are, uh, have no AP and, a little bit, and are a little bit less reliable, reliable. Uh, but they're good against infantry and things with no armor. And yeah, that's it for this sprue. The other sprue has mainly guns. It has the Gauss Blaster up here. Uh, these pieces go in the weapons. These are the tips of the weapons. And we have the back portions for the Immortals that have this, these cables that go to the Gauss Blasters or Tesla Carvines. And we have the Synaptic Disintegrators uh, here in the corner, here, here, and up here we have five of them. Uh, these are the torsos. They are the same for both uh, options, death marks and immortals. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, there's not too much to it. They are. Uh, you have three options. You have the immortals with the uh, Gauss blasters. You got the immortals with Tesla carvines or the um, death marks with synaptic disintegrators. The synaptic disintegrators are pretty cool. The thing is. They don't have any AP unless you roll a six and a wound and then you cause mortal wounds, but uh, you're gambling on those sixes, uh, but uh, they can shoot from very far away without penalties, although it's only one shot. Uh, I'm not convinced. Uh, I think my favorite ones are the Gus Blasters and the Tesla Carvines, but uh, that's me. 
maybe there's some new um, maybe there's some stratagems or things that I don't know about uh, that make the, uh, the other options very good but I'm not aware of them so I'll have to study on that and keep playing but that's it for this video so that's it thank you very much for watching this video and if you did please like the video comment on it and subscribe to the channel to see more videos in the future uh, if you did please do those things because those uh, help the channel a lot and I'll be doing and listening to you see what uh, other painting tutorials I can do I have a bunch of uh, stuff that I should do and uh, I don't know what to do next so if you have any good ideas just uh, share them in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video you stayed great thank you very much for supporting my channel and if you would like to become a patron there is a link to my patreon page in the description below your contributions help pay for my work and keeps the channel going a single dollar a month is more than enough and you can cancel it at any time if you can't don't worry you can support my channel by simply watching my videos and sharing them with your friends thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you on the next one